so i need snow tons of it and to do that we need lots of pumpkins right and wow this is sad this is my pumpkin farm <laughs> this is, um let's fix that this is not gonna do this can't do no no we can't live like this i think it's time for a real melon pumpkin farm to be set up somewhere so let's grab some of these some of these all right pumpkin acquired the next thing we need is dirt i'll need a lot of dirt so i think this is enough dirt famous last words i'm also gonna need to do some trades with these guys to get myself some redstone so let me get on that so that should be enough redstone and we'll add some glowstone to this mix just to make it look nice so now we're in the shopping district let's take a nap and the next resource i need is a bunch of this yeah so we need quartz i have two stack here let's go and see if we could where i can mine that actually you know what how about here All right, and that got us a little less than four stacks of quartz, which should be good, hopefully. And I'm gonna grab some cobblestone and we're just gonna go ahead and craft a bunch of these. So we have two stacks of this and I need iron. And we're gonna create two stacks of piston. I think I'm gonna need more of this, but for now we'll start with this. You know what, let's go ahead and let's, let's make four stacks each instead of two. So we have four stacks of observers, that should be good. And the last resource I need can be found over here. Ah, uh, yes, sand. I need glass. Glass is the last thing I need. And I don't have a better way to get glass, so we're gonna get some sand. After some sand mining, we have two shulker boxes full in a little bit. Time to make glass, pretty much. And two shulkers of glass shouldn't be too much of an issue to go in here. All right, while that worked, we'll come back to that later on. So I think you've seen Melon Pocket Farm done a hundred times before. So time lapse time. Let's go, time lapse. I can't believe it's taking me this long to make a melon pumpkin farm <laughs> with how easy they are to make. They're so easy to do nowadays that I don't know why I haven't done one sooner, but for some reason, melon pumpkin farm is the last thing I did this <laughs> so far. And we went with a simple design done by um, Il Mango and created about six different layers for it. So it's really nice, it's really cool. I think it's a good farm. You don't have to worry much about it. We should have tons of pumpkins in there. Let's get back to the video and I'll explain a little bit more of what we did. All right, so this is what we're looking at so far. I went a little overboard. No, maybe we just do one, but I figured, you know, I did two and then I was like, you know, what looks better? Four and I was like, six looks better. So here we are with six now. So we are done. This is the entire melon pumpkin farm set up. It's all set up. We have about six, I think, in there. And it's pretty fast. <laughs> it's actually going pretty well. But this is the entire design, the entire farm set up. You know, we use iron because it's just, it's a cheap block to use. So you use iron block, you know, and that was good. But as you come in here, let's go to sleep. I can't stand the rain. Minecraft rain way too much. I don't understand why it has to rain this much. But you come in here and it's a little loud in here. But this is kind of where we have everything set up. So we have an item sorter here that sorts the items here. Uh, Mel's and pumpkins are separated, sort, and then sent to a sent to their own individual shuffle loaders. And each one has its own shuffle loader. And the excess is burned. If I ever run a shuffle box, the farm should just burn them and we don't have to worry too much about it. But item sorters, and then they get sent on the ground through water like that. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty simple, super efficient, but it's done. It's really loud. Um, the farm fits in one chunk, but see the little border boxing is not. But the farm itself actually fits in less than one chunk. But yeah, it's all set. It's all good to go. So now we can start working on the second farm to actually go do the real project today, right? So I'll clean this mess up and come back to you when I'm over there. All right. So are you ready? This is where the new farm is going to go. Why do I have Oh, beacons. <laughs> like, why do I have effects? But yeah, we're going to do something over here, right? No. Hey, put that away. Put those away. There we go. So we're doing a new farm. Now we need snow. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up so we can build a, a snow farm, a TNT powered snow farm, because I am not going to be mining snow with a shovel, right? I'm not doing that. That's not for me. That's not for me. So we're going to automate it. So let's go ahead and see and let's start that build. So I'm thinking we put it over 
here. I kind of want a little space to put it so I can like fill several if I want to. I think it's going to come out soon with that. Bring a deal with that later. You'll see that. I still got some work doing it. But yeah, so I'm thinking, I guess we'll put the first one here and then we could all build more if we need to. So let me go ahead and remove some of this. I need a beacon. Is there? Okay, we can do this. <laughs> let me go ahead and remove this and I'll be right back. This farm took forever and was super frustrating to do. I'm not even kidding. Super, super, super frustrated. And even now it's killing my golems. One of them actually died, but let's take a look. But first we're gonna take a nap. Okay, so I ran the farm for about 30 minutes just to give it a good shot. And this is an Ilmango farm, Um, link in the description. We have a TNT duper up there that drops here, blows up right here. These guys run across and create snow. As you can see, like I mentioned, one of them actually died. Don't fall in there. One of them actually died right here, but he's the only one that was taking damage. So I'm not gonna rebuild him. I think we'll be fine with just missing just one we'll be fine so after 30 minutes of running this let's see what, what we have so far i have one chest two three four five six seven what on earth did i say eight nine so we got like 10 chests 10 chests an hour i don't know how much of this you guys could do math 16 by 10 yeah so yeah it's a lot it's a lot of chests an, an hour yeah so this is good. So we get most of what we need. Let me turn these into snow blocks and then we'll see how much we have. All right. So for half an hour, as you can see, <laughs> that's all of them. We end up with 2,500 snow blocks. That's not bad. That's 5,000 snow blocks an hour. Yeah. I think that's going to be, I need a little bit more than that. Um, I'm going to need a lot, but we could go over and start looking at the area we have to work in. And I haven't told you what we're doing yet. Have I? I'm pretty sure my title and thumbnail has told you, but I haven't told you yet. But yeah, let's get off the area and take a look and see what we're going to do next. So I've been working on this project for a bit, right? I want to show you Secret Santa. Yep, I'm terrible at clicking. So yeah, that didn't work out well. <laughs> let's just get up here. So let's go to the shopping district and go ahead and pick someone up for Secret Santa. And here we are. I think it's, where is it? Is it this box? It is this box. Where's the button? Okay. So let's see who we're giving the gift. All right, so we have Swall Spade. <laughs> um, so Spade has been working on a project for a long time that he did recently for his last video, um, where he needed tons and tons of stone. So now he hates stone. So guess what we're gonna give him? Tons and tons of stone. We're gonna make his, his gift very stone friendly. All right, so let's go do that. The first thing we need is a shuffle box to dump the gifts in. We're gonna need some of these. I'm also gonna need some of those. So we're gonna drop that in there. We're gonna drop this in. I'm gonna actually craft those into real tools. So we need four stacks of iron because anything less than a six beacon is not a beacon. Iron acquired. Let's just toss that in there. I should use emerald, right? Emerald would be better. Wouldn't that be a better gift? Let's see. To make spade the ultimate stone mining box, right? I'll go kill these guys so we have actual beacons. I'm gonna remove the iron, just give him emerald. We gotta also give him a pickaxe, don't we? So I need four books and we're gonna need, and now for spade's favorite block, there we go. I think this is not a bad gift. <laughs> spade would love this. All right, so we are finished. Let me show you what we've done so far. So this is the Christmas district as always, right? A lot of stuff going on here. But then once you come over here, you can see him. You can already see him. This is our big guy here. Look at him. We need a name for this guy. I'm going to call him Steve for now. But Steve is this, look at him. Massive. He's about to tear the snow globe up. He's not into the whole Christmas thing. You know, he's trying to make sure he tear it down, you know, take over a little bit. But look at this. This is it. I love this so much. Like he has no other purpose here just for decoration. And look at this big guy here. He is just trippy. And let's add some shaders to this. Oh, that fog effect is amazing. We need a screenshot of that. 
that is, look at this. I love that so much. Now, if I go my camo, look at this, he's going up. And you could just see, you know, Steve is here. You know, he's having a day. This snow globe is blocking his view from something. But yeah, this is amazing. So this snowman was a project. It took me like three days to get done. Um, but it's finally finished. Yeah, it's finally finished now, right? So we have this guy here. And you can see all of him just taking over the space here. He's targeting the snow globe. He's pretty close to it. You know, he's gonna rock, shake, he's gonna shake the boat. So we're really gonna get some flurries in here for this. But yeah, this is the guy I want. I wanted to add something in the Christmas district because I didn't really have a big plan for it. And I figured adding this guy here would be the best thing to do. And he is amazing. I love this so much. He has his little top hat here, eyes are glowing, his nose his carrots got its buttons with lights but yeah we are gonna call it here i think this has been a really good one it's been a lot of fun to do we built a bunch of farms just to get this one set up right but i hope you all enjoy um on the screen over there should be a new video youtube things you like and i'll catch you a little later stay tuned for the next one your host average gaming good night folks